So a rough week for Bitcoin miners and with BTC dropping below 60k, the question is, is now a good time to be buying Bitcoin mining stocks? In this video, I'm going to be going over some technical analysis of the six best performing Bitcoin mining stocks and going over why Iron, one of the best performers in this cycle so far, has dropped 30% this week. So let's get into it. So one of the big reasons for the drop in the Iron price is this tweet right here from Culpa Research who have opened a short on iron and you can see the details of their reasoning why it's actually quite a long thread um, you can read that for yourself and obviously you've got a link to a website at the top but what's interesting is the tweets below or the replies to it um, essentially people coming out and saying that this is old information a lot of it's made up and uh, there's a lot of uh, as you can see some uh, some memes and some not going to make it and uh, yeah some a lot of people are not supporting them in this short and as well we also have this from a guy called Danny Marks who points out that four of the last six uh, shorts have actually gone against them in a big way so be interesting to see which way this goes of course the information is there for you to go through it's quite as I say quite detailed there's a lot to uh, decipher so not financial advice feel free to go and research that for yourself but if we go back to the charts if you were liking the look of iron and none of this news changed your opinion then you have got the opportunity to buy at a very nice discount so as you can see iron's performed very well all the way through this year pretty much taking off at around april may time breaking this big level of resistance on the weekly time frame about eight dollars fifty and immediately shot up to sixteen dollars so pretty much a 100 percent move on the break of that level as you can see about 80 percent in the end but you can see big level of previous support and resistance so there is a chance that maybe we actually come back retest this level as support and in which case you would get a pullback of around 45 to 50 percent which is very good indeed now again not financial advice but as i say if you were looking at getting into iron if you were fomoing you know feeling like you wanted to buy some here at about 15 16 dollars you've got a great opportunity here at about 11 dollars whether it goes sub 10 or not i think if it does then of course hold some money back for that but in terms of a buy uh buy price this is pretty good 30 percent discount not too bad at all as i say could come back down to eight dollars fifty where the moving average 21 is as well you can see this divergence forming on the higher time frames but these can be very quickly resolved so i think anywhere between here eleven dollars twenty and eight dollars fifty really really good buy price for iron and as you can see it's performed very well so far and there's not actually too much price history either so we don't know whether 27 dollars is actually going to be you know the ceiling or whether it's going to go much much higher but as i say not financial advice let you make your own mind up about that but in terms of technical analysis nice deep pullback potential for eight dollars fifty which would be a 40 to 50 percent uh pullback from the all-time highs let's take a look at some of the other top performing uh bitcoin mining stocks and so clean spot covered this uh, on a couple of videos uh, now so unfortunately this has been very boring ever since well pretty much the majority of this year you can see we had a nice run in January going from about six dollars all the way up to about twenty four dollars but from about February you can see we've just been hugging this support um, all the way through we've bounced up and down between sort of 15 and 20 dollars uh, and just basically gone gone sideways you can see though this on a huge level of support right here at 15 dollars we've not had a weekly close below this uh, since we got up here back in february so big level of support we are hugging the moving average 21 as well however and coming up to the 50 on the rsi now me personally in bullish environments i like i quite like to see a pullback to the rsi 50 hold it a support and a bounce um even on these high time frames so as i say this could be a nice consolidation before another move up so again if you're looking at buying clean spark from a technical analysis perspective this is a really nice area to buy and you can just cut your losses if we do get a weekly close below sort of call it $14.50 weekly close below that you can cut your losses and look to buy in lower if we do go lower we've got a nice little support here at around 11 12 dollars uh, if it goes below that then we could be going much much lower back down to single figures at about six seven dollars but i doubt that is going to be the case but of course anything can happen but right now on a nice decent level of support a return from here back up to that 25 dollar uh, current uh, cycle highs is about 63 percent not too bad but we could be targeting the highs up here at 30 40 dollars if we were to get up to that 40 dollar mark 160 percent from here which for a large market cap 
um bitcoin minus stock is still a very nice return as well of course the bigger the market cap the uh more quote unquote safer the uh the the, the stock so as i say pretty decent return on clean spark 160 percent from here to 40 dollars if we do get that and if this uh, level holds of course if it goes lower then you get an even better entry point moving on to riot then and again this has been a little bit slow over the past uh, couple of months you can see we've actually been trending below the weekly moving average 21 and below the rsi 50 which isn't great however we are sat on this solid level support at around eight and nine dollars you can see we've not actually had a weekly close below this level of support since march of last year so really really strong support so a pretty decent area to be getting in or starting to build a position and as i say if you do get that weekly close below about eight dollars fifty then again you can cut your loss because we'll probably likely go a lot lower but a decent area to start bidding in my personal opinion if we get back up to these cycle highs of july 2023 up at about 22 23 dollars you're still looking at about 120 percent return which is not too bad we've got these highs here about 23 dollars slightly higher uh, where we had that bear market bounce or bear market rally back in march 2022 that's about 150 percent so again large market cap quote unquote safer um, than the lower market cap bitcoin miners 150 percent return from this big level support and as i say you've got a nice easy invalidation as well so not a bad area to bid at all in my personal opinion for riot marathon digital Again, pretty sideways over the last few weeks, but on another huge level of support. I mean, this level of support for Marathon Digital goes all the way back to January 2021. You can see huge level of support here at about $20. Uh, so if we grab our price tool back up to the highs of uh, what was that February of this year, that's still what's that $33, $34. That is still an 80% return, give or take, which is not too bad. So again, another large market cap. Um, Bitcoin miner. These Clean Spark Riot and Marathon, I believe, are the top three or top four. Um, three of the top four. So, yeah, probably out of all the Bitcoin miners, the quote unquote safest uh, to invest in. Not financial advice, of course. If we are to get back up to these highs of November 21, about $83 from here, you are looking at a return of 335%. Now, whether we get up there or not, we've had, you know, stock splits um, and stuff like that, which and, and dilution of stock. So, not a guarantee we revisit those highs, but I say the risk reward is pretty good. And again, you can very easily with these three uh, stocks, you can just cut your losses if we do get a weekly close below the current weekly supports that they are on. Moving on to Wolf, which was a uh, recommendation or a request on the last Bitcoin miners video we did. Now, this is a really, really nice looking chart. Very bullish indeed. You can see a big level of resistance here or was resistance about $3.80 on the weekly time frame. We broke through that. Uh, back on the 10th of June, so not that uh, not that long ago. Nice big impulse up, and now you've got this nice little pullback. So again, if you were FOMOing on the breakout, weren't able to get a position, uh, current cycle highs are about $6. We've pulled back down to $4.75, uh, which is about 20% pullback. So anywhere between here and a retest of this weekly level of support, similar to Iron, back here at $3.75, I think is a really nice buyer. So you can easily just dollar cost average between here uh, and down to $3.75, this retest of this weekly level of previous resistance, hopefully now flipping to support. And that would be a really nice buy area. Nice pullback, reset, set a high low, and then rally up to the highs. So looking to, let's go from today's prices back up to these highs that we've got uh, back from March of 2022, around $9.50. You're looking at about 100% return, of course, $4.75 to about $9.50, 100% return. If we go a little higher, we've got a little cluster of resistance up here, about $16. From today's prices, you are looking at 250% return, which is not too bad at all. And then finally, let's take a look at Hut 8 Mining. Again, on a really nice level of, well, previous resistance, now potentially flipping to support. And again, similar to, um, to Mara, this has got, a, a big level of support which has been you know, relevant uh, ever since what's this all the way back from december 2020 this has been a big level at around 15 dollars. you can see resistance and support you can see a failed breakout of this level uh back on december 2023 but we have now broken out last week we got a nice bullish weekly candle close above resistance we're now pulling back into support so this is a perfect uh ideal entry just as we pull back from the breakout level and again similar to everything that we've covered so far 
if we do get that weekly close back below sort of call it $14.50, $14, then you can just cut your losses um, and the risk reward is really nice indeed. Let's take a look at what a return to those previous highs are. So back to the July 2023 highs of about $22, $23. Still looking at 53% return, which is not too bad. If we take a look at some other highs, so we've got this peak here back in February 2022. That's at about $43 and you're looking at about 180% return and as i say it's a really nice bullish setup you're buying the the pullback so you're not fomoing it at the top and you've got a nice easy invalidation so as we uh as we go through the summer now it's probably going to be a little bit boring a little bit quiet in terms of bitcoin price action but of course when bitcoin if bitcoin breaks all-time highs which we're all expecting it to do at some point whether it's q3 q4 or maybe not till q1 next year of course the bitcoin mining stocks should follow and perform extremely well so during this summer lull, it's probably a really good time to be looking at picking up or adding to your Bitcoin mining stock positions. And of course, if you're in the UK, you can utilize them in an ISA. And if you buy Bitcoin mining stocks in your stocks and shares ISA, you are, of course, uh, getting tax free gains, tax free profits. So that is a nice welcome addition as well. So. In terms of technical analysis, they are all on really nice levels of support with the potential to dollar cost average a little bit lower on things like Iron and Wolf. So let's see what happens over the next couple of weeks. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.